Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about an easy problem from lead code. The problem name is longest nice substring. So the problem statement goes like this, that you have a string S and a string S is called nice. If for every letter of the alphabet that S contains, it appears both in uppercase and in lowercase. Okay, so let's say for this particular string to be nice, for every character you have, if it is present in the lowercase, it should be present in the uppercase. Okay, and if it like if it is an uppercase, it is present in lowercase as well. Okay, vice versa. So you can just check out that if the string if small a is present, then capital A is also present. If small b is present, then capital B is also present. Okay. So for every small, there's a capital also that is present. Now you just have to find out for a given string what is the length of the longest substring of this given string that is nice in nature. If there are multiple substrings, uh, you have to de determine the one which is the earliest that is occurring, and that's it. Nothing much complicated here as well. Now, how you can check it out because you consider it very small, you can just do it in a very brute force way. Find out all the possible substring and for every possible substring, just check out with whether, whether it is nice in nature or not. So, I'll just move down to the code part because it's not too much to understand here. So, we have to just find out and return, return the string actually. So, of the maximum length. So, just make two variables, the length and the string actually. So, whatever the string I have, I have to find out the length of it and I have to maximize it. Okay, and this will answer it. This answer will show the actual string. Now iterate over every possible substring. So the substring starts from i and end, end at j. You can say that. Okay. So this is the ith point at which the substring will start. I will keep on appending the substring starting from the ith point in this string variable. You can say and just keep on iterating over the end point of the substring. So this is just building out all the substrings. Okay. Now building out the substrings, you just have to check that whether the substring is valid or not. Which means that for a given substring, you just have you just have to check that for every small a large capital letter also exists, or for a large a small exists. Okay, just just iterate over all the all those particular conditions, and the end if it like if it uh, satisfies the condition, then what you want to do is that if it is satisfied, it should be the longest length. So if it is like more longest than the maximum I have seen, I will update the maximum length and the string answer as well. And I will not update it for equal to because whatever the earliest. Uh, I just store that even if like if it is maximum then only I will change if it is the same length I will not change because I wanted oh I want the maximum earliest one okay and in the end you, should, you, you just have to return the string with the you can say maximum substring length and uh, that is earliest that is occurring okay that is returned here now what is in the check function now there are multiple ways to check it out okay you can find out your way as well but I just used us two sets to store out uh, all the capital and small letters because sets are very easy to implement and very fast to check out for do lookups. So what you can do is that I have made two sets of frequencies s and small. So capital characters and small characters. It read over the complete string and if the character is small in this string. So because I just want to check that for every small a capital exists and for every capital a small exists. So I was it read over the complete string and just bifurcated the small and the capital one. So I have now two sets consisting of the small and the capital letters. Now I will just edit over all the small characters and just check that for that particular small character, if I just convert it from the small to capital character. So from that particular small character, I just edit over the set, every small character in the set. For every small character in the set, I first convert it to the capital character, the corresponding capital character. And just check that the corresponding character, capital character should exist in the set, the capital character set. Okay, if it exists, the answer is good. If it is not, then return false because I just want for every, every small capital exists. Similarly, for every capital, the small exists. Okay, if at any case possible that doesn't meet, then we just return false. And if all the conditions meet, the answer is true. Pretty much simple. And that's it. Like there can be multiple ways to check this out as well. I just thought in the very, like a, you can say very easy way possible. There are multiple approaches. You can make an array also. You can like you can just do sorting also. Whatever you want. There are multiple ways to check it out. And that's it. That's all the logic and the good part for this particular video as well. If you have more solutions, do ping me in the comment box of this particular problem. I will see you in the next one. Leave coding and bye.